I'm very happy uh, to be representing Felix Biotechnology, a company that was formed <coughs> using discoveries right down the street in my laboratory here at Yale University. So I'll give a high-level overview of some of our uh, new technology that we're developing. So um, we're living through a pandemic, and that is very difficult, but it is also a reminder that viruses have amazing potential. They also have amazing potential to solve problems, and that's what we focus on. So we're building a virus design platform that is nimble and broad because we want to take machine learning and AI tools to design custom phages. These are uh, viruses that kill bacteria, and we want to do this in order to, uh, in, a sense, in essence, uh, engineer any phage for any problem that bacteria cause. And bacteria cause lots and lots of problems. It has a huge, a huge market opportunity in the fact that the role of bacteria in health and disease, microbiome health, women's health, personal care and skin care is quite obvious. Uh, also, uh, bacteria threaten uh, the lives of our animals and plants and therefore food security. Uh, they also contaminate our water. And they'll also interfere with our manufacturing and lead to things like methane emissions that we care about for global warming. So there's a lot of opportunity to control uh, bacteria, but the problem is antibiotics, chemical antibiotics don't do that very well anymore. So instead we want to deploy phages. These are safe and effective uh, biological drugs and they are alternatives to chemicals. So they kill bacteria and they do this with high degree of specificity, which is quite different from something like a broad spectrum antibiotic. They have low toxicity and they often have a novel mode of action compared to other chemical antibiotics that we've relied on historically. You can administer them in low doses because they can make copies of themselves. They can also target biofilms, which are really the, uh, perm the, the structures that make bacteria impermeable to ke chemicals that might kill them. And indeed, all of this is chemical free. So if we seek uh, solutions for tomorrow that are in the absence of chemicals that might contaminate our environments, this is really a way to go. So one uh, thing to focus in on is the microbiome. We know its role in health. And it is uh, desirable to take something like a phage and prune something out of the microbiome in order to control an invader that has come in as a pathogen or, or in order to reset dysbiosis and make the microbiome more healthy. So we have lots of applications for phages as microbiome editors. They can remove microbes that drive disease and they can validate the role of some strain or species in disease in terms of a diagnostic. So there's a huge potential for phages to restore microbiome balance as we learn more and more about the role of the microbiome in health. In humans, plants and animals and other creatures, uh, this is really the way to go to engineer microbiomes using phages. So the problem is that uh, there are a lot of ambitions to use phages, but it's not easy to do this. And the reason is that they tend to be hard to engineer. They actually represent lots of different biology, and we need to have a common way to easily engineer them for different purposes. So that's what we're developing at Felix. It basically allows any phage to be simply engineered. Uh, they often have narrow host ranges, which is not so desirable for covering so-called genotype space, but we can expand their host ranges very easily with our platforms. And also, as an evolutionary biologist, I'll tell you that my concern is that you deploy a phage, it selects for resistance in the bacteria, and it fails. So therefore, we've developed technology that will mitigate this problem. So our platform could be summarized as design, build, and test. In other words, we bring rigor. So we want to be able to use machine learning to inform the design of viruses to solve any bacterial problem. We want to be able to do this easily in a test tube with a print and boot uh, approach uh, where we use uh, Golden Gate Assembly to essentially create any virus for any purpose. And we have high throughput tools to make sure that we do this accurately and safely. So we have a growing IP portfolio. That's the focus of today, is to, uh, uh, to emphasize that we have high throughput characterization to be able to find phages to solve problems. We modify them further through machine learning if necessary. We use proprietary approaches, CRISPR-Cas13, with technology to nimbly and genetically uh, engineer any phage that you want. And essentially, we are using synthetic phage biology of tomorrow, and we're doing it today. We have uh, this broad IP. I don't have time today to really emphasize how this is safe and effective. We've used our phages in patients at Yale New Haven Hospital and elsewhere in over 50 personalized treatment, very safe and effective approaches to say clearing a bacterial problem that antibiotics will not. We just finished a phase one, two clinical trial on this. So we have a lot of ambitions for the future. We want to be the one-stop shop for people who have bacterial problems as targets and we'll be able to engineer phages to solve them. Thanks for your attention.